just remembered instead of a hacksaw, I just used my cutoff wheel, for my Dremel tool. Dremel tool. There we go. Make quick work out of it. Okay, let's see how this will work. Let's kind of fold on this like that. Like this. Oh, look at that. All right. Because it's already been bent, it's kind of held, holds into place pretty well. Alrighty. Let's just see how this looks. Put this little thing on here. Cool. Just like that. Oops, I'll get this back. Push this down. This works great too because it can have the wire running out. Just run the wire out for the front, out of the front that goes to the little clip there. So, out of the alligator clip, once I get that on, like that. So, this is your re engineered bug zapper. Like I say, I'm going to have to do some padding in here so this stays a bit firmer in place, but uh, you're kind of getting the idea how this is working. Okay, now this is what I'm going to try doing to hold this thing in place. I'm going to take some of my 16th inch basswood and cut a few strips, stack them up, and put them on top of this sifter here. So when I glue this down, uh, the basswood will press, the layers of basswood will press against this and hold it in place, you know, and keep it fairly steady. I mean, I'll glue the pieces together and stuff like that, but I'm just trying this right now. Um, that's all I have at hand. So I'm going to cut the length of the basswood a little bit wider than the width of the zapper itself. Okay. Um, just cut along the length here. Lengthwise, get until it fits. Yeah, a little bit more. Take a little more off. Here, like that. Just like that. It's not going to be pretty, elegant, but it should be functional. All right, let me just stick this back on here. Use this as a guide, like that. Okay. Put these on here. And I'll be gluing these pieces together. Let me try sandwiching this. that. Ooh, is that going to be wide enough? Is that going to work? Is that going to work? Is that going to work? Oh yeah, I think that is. That's three pieces. And then when I put these screws in, this should clamp down on this tight enough to hold this in place. Uh, so, keep it from moving around. So I think, uh, I think I've got a good, fairly decent game plan going here. Like that. I guess I nothing pretty, but we're looking for functional here. <sighs> this definitely looks like that's gonna work. So we take this, apply a little glue to it. Okay, looking through my toolbox, I found a couple of pieces of wire here. I didn't have any black wire, so I was able to find this. Uh, this black wire is going to, I'm actually just gonna hook this onto the aluminum mesh like that. I mean, I've seen pictures where you take a tiny little nut and bolt and attach it on there. I don't have one right now, but I think if I just spear this through the mesh here and pinch these shut, I should get good enough uh, contact for now um, until I can uh, get a hold of a little uh, nut and a uh, little bolt and screw to actually screw it on here like that, like this. So I'm just gonna stick it right through the screen and that should provide enough contact. This is actually a fairly it's going to, have to be a fairly quick project and uh, you know one of the most I'm going to have to do is also solder um, 
this wire to this wire here. So get the uh, soldering iron out and heat it up. And I suppose if you don't have a soldering iron, you can just uh, buy wire connectors and do it that way rather than messing with a soldering iron. But uh, you get something like this. And I happen to find these in my toolbox. Stick one end of the wire in there, crimp it. Stick the other end, crimp it, and you're done. You're not to mess with any solder. I'm gonna go ahead and trim this down a little bit. Like that. So I don't need it to be that long. Strip some of this off. Strip the wire off like that. And a little bit more. Just like this. All right. Let me stick one end in there like that, and oops, let me pull this up here. Go ahead and crimp it <sighs> like that. Let's stick this in here. Twist that. Crimp this end. There. All right, there. And this way I can actually take this and tuck this underneath right here. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, this will this will work. I can tuck this underneath here like that. Okay. And the wood will hold this down wood will hold that part down. See what I did there? I just buried that underneath and the wood will hold this down give it keep this from moving around too much. It moves around a little bit but uh, gives it some security. All right let me go do the other one and what you want to use you want to use the you don't want to use the solid core wire it's a bit too stiff and hard to work with. I'm gonna use a stranded wire uh, this is an 18 gauge wire so that should be more than adequate for what we're doing here. To be honest, I've probably only done about half an hour of real work on this to get this into shape. So this is a really, really easy project. 